Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to make the UI look a little bit more beautiful. So last class we talked about that how we can use a twin um, animator or a plugin to animate this kind of scaling effect into our UI component, right? It looks really good. Uh, the main problem is though that the first two item is not selectable or we cannot make it centered right if we try to uh, scroll to the left then this happens if we release it goes back so this elasticity is not letting us to do uh, our expected um, output and also in the in the last two item is all is, is also not selectable now to fix this the first thing we need to do is make this UI's uh, child component as centered so that means in the content you see the child alignment we have made it as middle left we need to made it as um, we need to make it as um, middle center right so if you um, make it as middle center that means the child should be spawned in the middle of the uh, content game object right but just that part is not going to help you solve the problem you can see still if I drag it and uh, release the uh, mouse it still goes back now how can we solve that well one thing we can do is like make it scale right so if we if you remember from our previous class that we had a content size fitter which is basically going to fit this content game object based on all its child so we had a fitter which has a horizontal fit with preferred size if we make it unconstrained and then make it a little bit larger now you can see that if it was something like this if the size was something like this then we can browse through different contents all the contents actually right so we're actually going to do that in this class we're going to write our own content size fitter so that uh, we can select the items based on the size of the uh, content game object okay so we are going to uh, delete this and create a new component create a new script call it uh, ui content feature and i'm going to drag it inside the script double click on that make sure okay give me one second make sure that content has the script okay it has the script that's good now we can go back and let's start writing the code for our feature so what we're going to do let's see so we should first of all calculate that what is the size of this rectangle should be right and what is the size should be the size should be based on all of his child right so we need to find out that what is the total width of this rectangle should be given that it has all this child and we can calculate that by simply some multiplication and addition how we have a layout group right and it has a padding so we know that we need to add 40 it has a spacing in between each of these uh, boxes right each of these buttons so we need to uh, multiply that with the number of the uh, elements minus one and then we can sum both of them and get the total width right so let's see and you'll understand what I am talking about the first thing I'm going to do is I like, grab the horizontal uh, layout group horizontal layout group h g equal get component uh, horizontal group right so we are going to grab the horizontal layout group and then we're also going to calculate that how many child this uh, component has so we are going to do that by creating a variable child count is going to be transform dot child count minus one why minus one now remember that if there is uh, if there is one to 
just let's let's look into here if there is one two three four five box the empty space in between them is one two three four right so if there is n number of elements here the separations the number of separations should be n minus one correct so that's why we are calculating the child count as child count minus one so we can multiply this child count with the spacing you'll see that in a while we also need uh, the width of these buttons right so there should be um, if the width of one button is w then the total width should be w cross n why when l n is the number of elements right so we also need that so i'm going to create another uh, variable for the width child width this is going to be transform dot get child now because we are using a horizontal group group we are assuming that all the size or all the width of these children are the same right if they're not same this calculation might have some error but for me i'm assuming that all the width of each of the buttons going to be same okay so get component and i'm going to do rect transform dot rect dot width awesome now we have got the child count and the child width the next thing we need to do is to find the actual width of the rect right so i'm going to create another variable the width so how can we calculate that first of all we need the spacing right the spacing is defined here in the content you see the spacing is 120 that means each time we create uh, a new content there should be a 120 unit of spacing in between those two so the spacing should be multiplied with the child count then we are going to get the child's width and multiply it with the child count so we get the complete uh, like width of the child's uh, of the children's um, with spacing and the width of the children and then we also need another thing which is the width uh, sorry which is the padding right so you see there is a small gap in the front which comes from this left padding right so we need to calculate that as well i'm going to add um, the padding here which comes from the hg dot uh, padding i think yeah padding dot left right and finally um we need to actually let's try this and see what happens and we are we are just going to just apply this to the rect transform it should be new vector 2 and we also we only want the width so which is this one and height should be constant right so we can just grab the height from here what was the height for the content it was about 268 i'm going to make it 265 to just make it a little bit you know readable uh whole number not any kind of floating point um just gonna put it here 265 265 okay right so remember to change this value based on your um, contents width you know or contents height from your project okay so yeah so now if we save it run our project is going to work as you can see it's actually working right okay yeah so that's all about it so we can uh, now uh, actually have some more manipulation based on which object is basically uh, focused right and we can change our content here based on this value so yeah I'll see you in the next class where we are going to 
add some graphics into these uh, buttons and uh, then we're going to move on to more optimization and how can we upload different kind of models from cloud and use that in our game so that's all about it i'll see you in the next class bye